welcome back to another video on the channel. We are at Big Willow in the Toyota, which is the meta car for this track for race B. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and uh, look at a couple of races here. It can go so, so well. We had a pretty decent time. Not, not the fastest, but it put us on pole a couple of times and in second and third place. So let's see what we can do from the front. We'll do a little lap guide as well, just to uh, get familiar with the track. So the first corner then should be taken in fourth gear, breaking between the 50 and the 100, and getting on the power as soon as possible. Second corner then, you don't need to brake, you just need to shift down to fourth and use the engine brake to uh, slow your car down and turn it in the correct angle before getting on the power as soon as you can. This corner here, just before the 50 there, down to third gear, trying to use momentum to keep it in third gear as you climb up the hill. Some people blip it down to second gear there just to get the car turned in. Really awkward corner as you can just find yourself going out left. This corner down to third gear, slide the car in a little bit and get on the power and then the back straight is all flat out obviously but coming up is the make it or break it corner the final corner of the track it's sort of like a double corner because it's nice and smooth here but then it tightens up just at the end so you want to go out as left as you can and just after that 150 get on the brakes and start to turn in that is the most common mistake to make on this track is turning in too late it doesn't seem like you should turn in but you need to turn in much earlier than you think so coming across the line then, on the fifth lap, that's a win. Managed to keep the German at bay behind us. And that was a win. Nice and easy. Pole, fastest lap, clean race, 43rd win ever. And then it happened again. Kept my nose clean. Changed livery this time to the Castrol Toyota livery. Very classic. But it can go so, so wrong as the Norwegian behind us we break at exactly the same point. We break every time, actually a little bit later, and we have been sent to the realm. Game over. Wasted. Mission failed. We'll get them again next time. All of that stuff. As when you go off on the last turn, you could be there literally forever. But it doesn't always take that. Sometimes you can just do it on your own. I thought I broke it exactly the same, but just didn't turn in. And uh, there we go. Cue the... Uh, Terrible Titanic music, little crying children everywhere as we are back in the black and white. But I guess we do actually have to show some racing on this channel, so here we go. Our climb back up the ladder. We are sitting in 11th, what can we do here on Big Willow? Go past the German who we kept at bay in that first race, so he's obviously made an oopsie as well as we actually get overtaken by another player. Mr. Cure GT. So, can we go about regaining some sort of dignity from this race after putting ourselves in the Shadow Realm? Sweeping round this right-hand corner then, how early can you get on the power? We are on the power already. Gap to the car in front, seven tenths. We have three laps just under to regain something here. As we are a little bit too hot into that corner, a little bit slidey, had to pop it down to second there just to get the car turned in and slowed down enough. We just clip the inside of the corner. Gap down to under 7 tenths now. Can we get in that slipstream? A good exit from this corner will get us that. And it looks pretty good as a oh, PTSD of being punted off there from the other video. I'm sure you've seen it. The biggest sand realm entry ever. If you haven't, go watch it. As the French player here is going very slow so he may have served a penalty at the penalty line just uh, as we've gone past it onto the start finish straight then coming over the line onto the fourth lap what can we do two laps remaining actually another jev racer jev smirnoff sitting in 13th place behind us always nice to see another community driver there as we have a quite a few cars in front of us now so what is going to happen surely one of these have got to be sent to the Sand Realm. The Sand Realm Grim Reaper obviously wants more Gran Turismo driver blood. As uh, we come up to this tricky mountainous section now, what is going to happen? Drivers are very, very close. GT player there running a bit wide. We get a little bit squiggly. We're going to throw it up the inside there. Can't really go up the inside of the Frenchman. So just settle in 
to 10th place here. He is in the Audi TT, so he is going to have that straight line speed on the longer straights. So we have to make sure that every corner that we take is clinical. We are in the slipstream though, so that is going to do us a world of good, but he might be just sucking on the tailpipe of the cars in front. So coming into the last corner then, we must get a good run out because we do have the GT player behind us still in that uh, 3 4 tenths range, so he could still be an issue as the cars in front of us snake all over the start finish line in front of us trying to really maximize that slipstream off of each other as they go into the first corner then it's all gonna get a little bit handbags as the Italian spins around the Swiss player gets a five second penalty and then the French guy gets a five second penalty as well I'm not really sure what happened there maybe we can go back and slow it down so it looked like the Swiss player hit the Italian player who then hit the French player the Swiss player then gets the five second penalty and then the French guy gets the five second penalty. So I'm not really sure how the game saw both of them to be at fault for a player spinning. Not really sure how that happened. If you have an idea of what actually happened there, let me know in the comments. I'll try and get around to it as we send it up the inside of the French player. Not really going to fight it. He's got that five second penalty. So fighting it would be a little bit stupid from his part so well done smart play as we come through the penalty line there looking back at it we see the French and the Swiss player just serving those penalties as we come around the final corner then we can only mess it up for ourselves a nice little fight back really from 11th to 7th not really uh, going to get anywhere further than that the uh, top players there were pretty fast and pretty consistent so hats off to the boys up at the front of the field but we're going to come across in seventh place and that is going to be it for willow springs this week a definite marmite track you either love it or you hate it or you can love it one race and then hate it the next as those suck zones just you don't know when they are going to suck you but that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the races around Big Willow this week. I hope you got some game time yourself. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Once again, thank you to the Jev Pit crew, the channel members, for doing your thing. And we'll see you in the next one.